Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Adventure Boat. My name is Kelly. I'm Trevor. Hey, today we are at Overland Expo West here in Flagstaff, Arizona, 2023, giving you the best and awesomest rooftop tents. Stay tuned for more. All right, guys, we're here at the 230 booth with Justin. And Justin, you guys have a new tent out and it's got some amazing new technology built into it that you are just releasing at this show, correct? Correct. We've right. got a bunch of new stuff this year. Awesome. So, let's, let's hear it. The, the, main th the main thing, Kelly, is the Eco 13B. So we're trying to bring in some sustainability to our industry. So we've gone for a fully recycled fabric. So the fabric on this tent is 100% recycled from PET bottles. So oh, take wow. a PET bottle, chop it into little pieces, make a thread, make material. Uh, so we're doing sustainability for sustainability's sake. No, we want to benefit. So we've got more waterproof, adheres better to the LSD wow. fabric, more abrasive resistant, dries faster. So all around it was win, 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 and it has some sustainability to it. So that's, uh, it's been fantastic. Well, that's perfect because you know what? Garbage is going away. So if we can take a little bit of it and reuse it for something amazing, that's perfect. We're not going to change the world by ourselves, but mm -hmm. each little piece makes a bit of a difference. So um, you're seeing it on the first, on the Kabari light tent. So for you guys that haven't seen this at home, this is the Kabari light. We took 40 pounds out of the Kabari. Oh, wow. We set it on a diet, dude, straight to Jenny Craig. <laughs> yeah. um, the other part to this is the front part, that nose cone, it actually sets up all in one piece. So it's faster again. There's no feeding poles. There's no doing anything. It literally just pops. Awning comes out. Dude, you are done. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's really nice. Really nice tent. So is it dimensionally the same size as the old Kabari? It's or a little is, smaller. It's a little it bit smaller? A little, okay. A little smaller. All right. So it's a little bit smaller. Um, mattress is not quite as big. We actually keep the ladder out of this one. Okay. So a lot of people have said we want compact. We want low profile. So this thing is only six inches tall. Oh, wow. So it's, it's, it's tiny. So, But hey, six inches out. is a big deal. Okay. There's so many lines there. Let's, let's <laughs> <go away from laughs> those. Yeah. All right. So obviously when you put something as like a tent on a diet, you typically have to cut some things. Yep. What, what benefits are we losing out of this tent than the original Kabari? We actually lost none uh, because we had some, again, technology shifts. Uh, there's a lot of companies, a lot of product out there. You see technology shift just to have a new technology, but there's no benefit. We don't do that. If there's a if there's a technology shift and a benefit to come along for the ride, so that the way the top and the bottom of this thing is constructed is very different. It's not a aluminum honeycomb. Um, it's actually got some um, polymers and plastics and a whole bunch of stuff going on. So it actually does it that way. Oh wow. Yeah. So it's not technology just for the sake of saying it's aluminum. <laughs> you know, because that's just it, it's not always it's not always the answer. So we want right. to see some some uh, some benefits from it. So forty pounds lighter is our benefit. Perfect. Yep. All right, Justin, so mattress is obviously premier intense. Uh, is it the same Kabari mattress or is it uh, any size difference? It's it's a memory foam. It's a little thinner and it's already got that um, uh, anti-condensation mat, okay. which doesn't actually stop condensation, mind you, but it stops the bottom of the mattress getting wet. We already keep we keep the waterproof base on it, as we always have. Um, so it's a little bit lighter for some, might find a little bit thinner, a little bit lighter. And the perfect mattress, you guys know, you walked into a bed store, how many beds is there? 87. Bazillion. Yeah. Right. Why is there so many? Uh -huh. Because everybody's idea yeah. of the perfect mattress is different. So yep. um, we find it pretty good. Uh, again, you guys at home, some will say this is th the thing. And others will go, you know what? It's too thin. It's too hard. It's too soft. It really is. Uh, yeah, it really is Goldilocks. Right. Well, honestly, this thing looks great. It looks just like the Kabari. Like I didn't realize that it was on a diet. So as far as looks from the outside and the inside, it looks exactly the same. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm gonna give you a secret. You get to release this first, are you uh, ready? Yes, right, I you, love I secrets. Love love <laughs> so we've figured out a way to print on the tent. So on the back of the tent, you'll see on this one, there was a test print and, it, and it's a bunch of little detail because we wanted to make sure that it looked really good. Okay. Um, hopefully, or going according to plan, uh, for Memorial Day, we're gonna release the Americana version. Oh, uh, and that's all I'm going to say. All right, there's an Americana version that's that's we're still on the fence on whether we limit it to a really small run, but the first run that comes through will have 40 only of wow. the special Americana version. So you can keep an eye out for that. Justin, what is the price point on this thing? This one's going to come through at $29.99. Okay, uh, and the, the Americana version, a couple of bucks more because it's got a little bit more money in the print, of course. Yep, and yep. it's awesome. Yep, and where can people find these at? www.230.com. So Number 23, word zero, dot com. We'll see you there. Wow, yeah, definitely go to the 230 website, check that out, check out this tent. Uh, Justin, as always, great products, 
You guys are killing it. I like the sustainability aspect you Thank guys you. are running now. And thanks again. I appreciate it. Cheers. Ciao. All right, guys, we're here with Owen at the Dometic booth. And Owen, you guys, all right, so I will preface this with, we saw this rooftop tent last year. However, it was like a prototype. No one could talk about it. I literally had to make up everything just from looking and touching at it. So, but you're the engineer. I want to hear all about the rooftop tent and now you've got a new uh, canopy also. Yeah, so this year at Expo, we're debuting uh, shelter for Dometic, which is something we haven't really like ventured into. It's been focused on refrigerators and camp. Now we're bringing the camp together um, with a place to hang out and a place to sleep. Um, the thing with the, the shelters is we've created a rooftop tent. It's called the TRT 140 Air. Um, what's really unique about it, what sets it apart from the other rooftop tents that are out there, is literally the smallest package in its closed position of any tent that's out there. Oh, wow. Uh, really, really good, uh, well suited for, um, for cars, like cars with small, small narrow roof lines. Right. You're not having this huge, burdenous um, uh, thing up there. And then when you deploy it, it's a, it's a trifold, opens up, and it's a super spacious two person tent with really vertical walls. Um, like perfect for the Subaru cross tracks and that type style? It's perfect for yeah, that. Awesome. And it's really good for like that, the weekend warrior who doesn't want to commit to have a tent on their car all the time. Right. Uh, it tops out at 115 pounds. Okay. Uh, uh, because it fits across cars really well, you can take it off, put it in your garage, um, on and off as you please. That is excellent. Yeah. And I just love the, the you know, it's a brand new. No one, I've never even thought of putting an air dam system into a tent to inflate it. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about how fast does this whole system like deploy? If you were just to get out of your car, how quick? Um, so right off the bat, just like any tent, you just first unlock it, um, open up both cantilever sides. There's a single point inflation and the tent comes with an uh, electric pump. And it's like a, your standard paddleboard style pump. Okay. Um, but it's got an auto pressure um, in it. So you just turn it on and then that's it. It literally will inflate itself and it's done. Wow. It'll turn itself off. So how long for that in inflation period? Once it's open, I'd say it's probably about two minutes. Okay. Um, and it just airs up. You can go do whatever you want to do, and it'll it'll inflate itself and shut itself off. It'll be ready. Okay, for you. great. Yeah. And now, there, is there any other systems in it? Like, do you have to deploy the windows, or is it just the air dam, and that's it? That's it. There's, okay. There's, it, everything is. That, that's the beauty of the air structure is where the tubes go. They're where they they go in the direction you need them. They hold the awnings open and just inflate it all. There's no additional assembly. God, that's so cool. Like, yeah. what an innovative idea that. Uh, I'm glad someone thought of. I, yeah. I, I'm sure it was you. But I, I, you know, yeah. it's super cool. Yeah, I wish I could take all the credit, but of course, Dometic's got a really broad team. Yeah, just smart people, so I happen to be part of that. Excellent. All right, is there anything else that's super cool about this tent that I'm not seeing off the top of my head? You know, because I did a really thorough inspection last time. I got up in it, laid in it. It was super comfortable. What else is in there that I'm not the seeing? The thing that um, gets me the most is like. There's a lot of two-person tents out there. You get your wedge style, your camshell style, um, and the interior space is oftentimes compromised by the um, the deployment method of the tent. So right. um, this one with the air beam, the wall, all four walls are near vertical, so the living space is like everywhere you're sitting right. in there. And um, it also has um, all four walls um, unzipped to um, just full mesh walls. Oh wow! And so you can completely, basically, experience the outdoors yeah. while being sheltered in inside the tent. And plus, on those hot days, it'll totally vent. It's perfect. It's totally vent. Yeah. Okay, so the mattress. Yeah. Um, I remember before it was foam. Is it still foam? It's yeah. It's a okay. two and a half inch um, open cell foam mattress. Okay. Um, <clears throat> that comes with it, um, but the beauty is, um, Dometic is also going to be bringing in self inflating mattresses. Okay. And we've got a full three inch self inflating mattress. I was going to ask you, like, it'd be so cool to have an air inflated yep. self inflating mattress. Yeah. They would work right into the system, so mm -hmm. it's yeah. one button and yeah. everything will inflate. Yeah. So that's a little just like a little sneak peek of what's coming in the future, okay. and so you can upgrade this tent and then that mattress can stay in there and that um, gets you a full self-inflating air mattress in there. That would be awesome. Yeah, it's yeah. gonna be a really nice package. Yeah, you guys have really thought this through thoroughly. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's talk, um, we already talked, talked weight, price point. Uh, so <clears throat> price point on that one is uh, $2,500. Okay. Try to keep it on the lower end, um, be you know price competitive um, for what you And in this market is very reasonable? It is reasonable. And, Thing with rooftop tents, um, the barrier of entry is pretty high, right. so we wanted to stay on the lower end curve of that. Okay. Yeah. All right. And so, keeping your sleep gear inside your tent is it possible with a trifold, or is it just not feasible? It's not feasible to okay. keep the package as small as possible when you're yeah. not using it. Um, there's not enough space to leave stuff in. Yeah, there. that's very understandable. Yeah. All right. It's a beautiful package, mm -hmm. and I, I'm curious to know about. I'm standing underneath yeah. the shelter now. 
So what is this all about? This is a new launch as well. Okay, so this thing is, this thing's pretty cool. So we've actually had this toy in line for a while. This is what we call um, our Hub 2. This is another air beam um, shelter. Um, and it has no aluminum poles. It's all inflated, single point inflation. Um, you get in a duffel bag with a shoulder um, straps, it's 20 pounds. And it has walls you can um, uh, hook up or take out. Okay. And you kind of make it whatever you need it to be. You can see it, um, it's backed up to this car here, so you can have it as an extension of your vehicle. Oh, yeah. Have it standalone. Um, um, yeah, and so it's very versatile. Wow. Yeah. yeah, this thing's cool. Now, what's the setup time on this? Obviously, it comes in a duffel, right? It comes in a duffel bag. Um, it comes with a two liter hand pump. And okay. And I can, once I stake this thing out, I can get it inflated in two minutes without oh, wow. really uh, working up a sweat. With a hand pump? With a hand pump. Wow. Because the, the volume of air in the beam isn't really that much. And so it's actually very quickly can inflate. Right. And then with that single point of inflation, you just release the valve. The whole thing drops in a matter of seconds. You roll it up, put it in a bag, and you're ready to go. Okay. Now, let's say high winds, storms. Mm -hmm. Is there any, like, deficiencies with this? because of the of the air beam. I know sometimes you get like that yeah. lofting where it kind of wants to move around. Yeah, so um, each corner's got a guy out system that attaches at three points, bottom, top, and middle. Okay. And that keeps the legs from buckling. I mean, wind is a powerful force. You never yeah. know what it's gonna do. So um, it'll keep its shape um, pretty well. But if for some reason the whole tent were to get like bent over and collapse, it'll just gonna bounce back up okay. like a bouncy house and there's, it will not break. Excellent. Yeah. All right. And what kind of warranty you guys offer for those? As We're you know, offering a two-year warranty okay. for, for all of it. Uh, we've got a complete spare parts list that um, either you can um, talk to our customer service and okay. it's all replaceable. Excellent. And what's the price point on the, the shelters? The shelter um, is $749. Okay. Um, and then the wall kits are $100. And then um, coming out next year is two new accessories for it. Is One is going to be a complete bug house Okay. with um, mesh walls and then uh, like a, a door that closes behind you automatically and then also solid walls with zipper doors. Um, so you can actually create either a sleep shelter or a bug shelter or mix and match oh, wow. any solid wall, mesh wall. Um, the walls are great for privacy. So if you've got a, all your mesh walls off, you got a campers behind you or right. neighbors, you want some privacy, put up a solid wall. So the whole point of this um, shelter is um, make it what you want it to be, not being forced into a shelter that's it's a static product. Right. And so it's, the, it's one of the most versatile shelters that I've seen. And I've been in the industry for a long time. Yeah. No, it's super cool. You guys got to be sure to come to the expos. Check these out. Owen. Where can people find these guys at? Uh, you find them online um, at Dometic.com. Um, and then distributors like Rack Attack. Um, there's a good walk-in spot to see them. Excellent. Awesome. Well, man, thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely. I appreciate your time once again. Owen's famous here. <laughs> thank you so much for your time. I appreciate yeah, it. I appreciate you. Thanks. Thanks. All right, guys, I'm here at the 4x4 Colorado booth with Josh. And Josh, you guys have awesome tents. I have been dying to see what you guys have. And this one is really cool. Tell me all about it. Thank you so much. You know, this is our Nimbus. It's our flagship seller. Um, it's probably our, our top tent because the clamshell tents are very, very popular. But the biggest problem with a clamshell tent is if you're a taller guy, you run out of space because your feet can't yeah. go to the corner. Especially so. size 13s or something, you know, you're going to exactly. be clunk. So we added the foot box to our tent, uh, plus internal struts because the internal struts allow us to be able to when we overland, we don't have to worry about catching branches on the external struts. Right. Uh, it's 171 pounds. Um, that's because it is a solid aluminum and an aluminum honeycomb base. Okay. Uh, we do have, it's 82 inches outside, 49 inches wide. Uh, so, or 50 inches wide, sorry. Um, it is a beautiful tent. The, one of the things that we love is we have a roof rack option. So okay. the roof rack option will store 150 pounds. It does have T-channel slots. Nice. You can use kayaks, you can use bikes, you can use max tracks, snowboards, uh, Rome style cases, whatever it is that interests you. And uh, that's why we offer it. Uh, we do come with a standard two and a half inch memory foam dense mattress. Right here, we do have our inflatable upgrade. This is our new plush mattress. We're really, really excited about it. Uh, it's inflatable. It's like an X-Ped style. Uh, it's custom fit and molded for this tent. It adds a, a, an incredible amount of comfort and insulation. We do believe it's R6 rated. And uh, because it deflates, it adds more room for your sleeping bag and your gear, like your, your ladder that goes inside the tent and your shoe bag as well. Okay, you just spilled all of that on me. Let me unpackage a little sure. bit. We're gonna rewind a bit. Okay, so let's start off with the inside because okay. I really dig, one, I dig the light color. Okay. It really allows you to see. So you said that's a memory foam pad? Yes, so this is our inflatable memory foam memory foam mad okay um the factory one is two and a half inches so it's slightly different it's a little denser okay this is our plush upgrade it's 300 dollars 
but it is inflatable and deflatable, so it adds more space and more comfort uh, when you do close the tent. All right, and that whole system, and is that gonna be like the bag that actually inflates it, or is there a special system that you guys have proprietary to inflate it? Or? It's self-inflating and self-deflating, which is okay. awesome. We personally use a 12-volt pump uh, okay. just because it inflates and deflates in about 30 seconds. Way faster, yes. yeah. <laughs> okay, oh, use a pump to deflate it as well. Yes. Genius, I never thought of that. Thank I just, I, I had one and I just rolled it up and it took forever, especially in the cold, yep. it's horrible. Absolutely. But yeah, this thing looks super plush, like you said. All right, now, it looks dark inside. If I were to close this up right now, what would I be looking at as far as the light leak inside? It is 600D uh, Oxford canvas, so it's okay. military grade. Uh, it can handle wind, it can handle elements, rain, sleet, snow. We've taken it in nine degree camping. Uh, one of the cool things about our tents is we do a lot of camping in Colorado at altitude. Uh, so we have diesel heater ports installed oh, nice. in all of our tents. Uh, diesel heaters, we, we chose that over propane because at altitude, obviously, oxygen, it can freeze up. Uh, yeah. Low altitude, they'll shut off with Mr. Buddies. Uh, condensation, diesel... all those problems. Exactly. Yeah. The diesel heater's drier, so less condensation yeah. inside. So we've been camping in this with the diesel heater. We've had it at 9 degrees outside and 72 inside. Wow. We're literally sleeping on top of the sleeping bags. So, That's amazing. Uh, an Oxford canvas is, is an upgrade. Most tents nowadays are made with 300S, uh, so it's not as good of a fabric. We're really, really proud of our fabric. All right, Josh, I'm seeing that there's lights built into that. Now, how does that operate? So standard LED lighting in all of our tents, uh, it's USB powered, so a small power bank will power it. Um, we, we usually take a minor 12,000 milliamp hour, right. uh, and it'll last for an entire camping trip. Okay. Um, the cool thing is because the 600D fabric, we do have true blackout. So when we close those nice. lights, it's blackout, and that's why we offer standard lighting in our tents. Well, good, you really need it when you're waking up at noon and you're <laughs> like, oh my God, it must be 3 a.m. and it's, you know, middle of the day so exactly that's awesome and i'm let's go to the outside i saw the rack on top sure. the way it integrates into the whole frame system of the top is really seamless thank you was that a just an accident that happened or was that completely on purpose designed that way purposely designed t channels are so useful for storage especially when you're overlanding yep. there's so many different things that you can use with t channels so we wanted to create a system where we could slide it on have t channels have a traditional rack system especially with our lower profile tent because the tent's 8.27 inches without the rack okay um, which is nice and low it looks beautiful it adds another half inch or so when you add the rack to it um, but that still keeps you under nine inches all in. yeah Plus you got a spot for recovery boards and anything else you want to put on there. Kayaks, bikes, uh, snowboards, whatever right. it is. All right, so if you did load it down, you've got your bike on there, do you have to remove your bikes before you deploy the tent or is it the struts are able to carry that weight? Yeah, so it is rated for 150 pounds uh, when it's closed. When it's open, it's 50 pounds on the Newton struts. So okay. we do recommend you take your bike off if it weighs more than 50 pounds, right. probably does. Eh, not my bikes, but that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is a beautiful tent. Um, I'm seeing the really only additional feature that you have to set up are the two guideline poles for the canopy and everything else is basically just unlatch, lift, and you're ready to go, right? Yep, it's a one minute setup, set down. It's very, very simple. Anybody can do it. You can do it solo when you're camping. It's, it's a okay. great, great product. Yeah, it's super nice. Fit and finish is great. It's very well done. Now, what's the price point on this? $27.95 without the rack. Uh, the rack is an additional $300. So if you wanted to add the rack, it'd be $3,095. And then the uh, upgraded plush mattress is $300 as well. Okay. And what's the warranty like if people have it and they're like, eh, it's just not my deal? So we offer a five-year warranty on all of our products. Okay. Uh, at the same time, we are a part of the community. We actually go out and camp, which I can't say for every tent manufacturer. Yeah. Uh, and so we take care of our customers. We love okay. the community and we want to be a part of it for a long time. Excellent. Well, where can people find these tents at? Uh, 4x4colorado.com or Overland Expo. Uh, Mountain West will be at, we'll be at Pacific Northwest. So we'll have a lot of, lot of opportunity to see the tent. Excellent. Yeah, if you guys don't see it here at West, go to Pacific Northwest, go to Mountain West, check these tents out in person. They're very impressive. Thank you so much for your time. Thank really you so much. It. Appreciate Thanks. it. Thank you. All right, guys, we're back here at Ironman 4x4 again with Fritz talking about their rooftop tents. Now they came out with a whole new line of rooftop tents and Fritz, these, this one behind me is one I'm particularly excited about. Tell right. me all about it. So this is our brand new, just being introduced at the show, Uber Light tent. And as the name implies, it is Uber Light. It weighs 104 pounds, oh, wow. far less than any other tent. So if you're driving any kind of CUV, like a Subaru or a RAV4, or you just don't want to put a ton of weight on your roof, which we all know we shouldn't do, right. this is a fantastic solution because it's super light. Also makes it really easy to take on and off with really no more than two people. Yeah. One, if you're super, you know, if you're handy. Perfect. Okay, so getting into the details, it's clamshell. It, it is. It, so it opens up. It's got a soft bag cover it does. on it? Yes, okay. it does. Now is the bag 
a Velcro or a zipper? How's the bag adhere to the whole system? It straps down. Okay. Um, and it really the intent of all of this was weight savings, right? Okay. So we're really conscious about how to shave off weight while not reducing the quality and the, um, and the durability and the weather uh, proofness of the uh, of the tent. Okay. For example, we've got a very unique rain fly on this tent. You can see it comes way out over the front, and that's a really unique feature to a tent of this style. Perfect. And I noticed that there's really no floor to it. It seems like it's crossbars with two foam mats that Trevor got in it and was laying down on it. And he said it was super comfortable. Yeah. Again. We looked for every opportunity to minimize weight by, but not sacrifice comfort and quality and durability. And so nothing was off the table, including the, the floor plan of the tent itself. Okay, now how is that gonna work with weather resistance with while you're driving, going through a storm, having the bottom open? How is that going to not get water through the mattress and through everything? Well, so again, you know, everything that we do here at Ironman, we test in the in the wilds of Australia, and and if it can withstand the rainstorms and dust storms of Australia, we're very confident that it's going to be just fine here in the states. All right, perfect. And God, that is super lightweight. Yeah, um, I'm excited crazy. about that that yeah. that number. My other Ironman tent that I had for a short stint, the vestibule was really low, mm -hmm. so when you get in to put your shoes on your head hit. This looks quite a bit larger. Yes. Yeah, it really is. Again, um, it's got a ridge pole in it, as do some of our other tents now, uh, okay. to address that that concern. And again, the whole idea here is usability and functionality. Uh, as we say, we want to uh, really inspire the outdoor enthusiast. And so the only way to do that is to provide them with products that, that gets them out there right. and they can thrive while they're out there. Perfect. All right, Fritz, so what's the price point on this guy? So the Uberlite tent comes in at, right now with our sale at about eighteen seventy-five. So oh, really, awesome. really strong value for what you get. Yeah, great price point. And you guys have some other new tents going on. You have a A-frame. Is that new or is... It, it's not new, but again, with all of our units, we're always continuously redesigning. So right. we've improved the mattress in okay. the Swift, which is the, is the you know, traditional pop-up clamshell style tent. Right. Uh, super easy to take up and down, uh, incredibly weather resistant, obviously with the with the hard shell, so excellent. We also have the Nomad, which we've done a ton of improvements to. Look, quite frankly, the Nomad was a problem for people. Um, we Especially this guy right here. Yeah, we knew that it, you know, we learned that it leaked. We listened to our customers. Um, our cover had some issues as well. And we really pride ourselves in listening to our customer and then taking action. So we've improved the tent fabric. We've improved the water durability of the fabric. We've redesigned the cover and use a different plastic compound so that it doesn't uh, fade. We've really oh, awesome. done a lot of improvement, improved the mattress as well. So it's a much different experience. It looks the same. It doesn't perform the same. It's far, far better than it used to be. So I think you'd be really happy with it. Yeah, because you literally addressed all my problems with it. It faded, the plastic faded, the mattress was horrible. My wife wouldn't even sleep in it another night. Yeah. Um, it leaked in Colorado. Yeah, so if you fix all those, you know, definitely see how it works out. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a different tent today. So right. we're, really, we're really excited about it and, and have gotten rave reviews. Awesome. Well, great. And where can people find you guys at? Yeah, so we're at Ironman4x4America.com. And we'd love to come have you all come see us. Uh, we've got a full range of product. We've got a great sale going on right now. Obviously, we're at Expo uh, out here in Flagstaff. We'll be at all the other Expos that, throughout the year. And in between, come see us at Ironman4x4America.com. Yep, I said it before, I'll say it again. Check out the website. They always have great sales. Thank you very much, Fritz. Thank you. It. Yeah, great stuff. All right, so that was the best we could find at Overland Expo West 2023. Everything to do with the rooftop tents. Yep. What was your favorite? Favorite? Oh, man. Um, honestly, there was a lot, but I think I'll go with the one I'm actually going to buy, and that's the Iron Man, that the Uber Light, mm -hmm. uh, because it'll fit on the GX nicely. Dude, the Iron Man is surprising. Like I, there are some things I worry about it with not having like a, a legit bottom and just bars. It concerns me just with dust and water and it's the longevity of it. Fabric. It's fabric. Yeah, fine. I guess we'll see in the long term. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'll, I'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah. So my two favorites, and I know I'm allowed to have two. Oh, the first is the innovation of it. And that was the Dometic with the air dam system. Like that just blew my mind. Um, it literally. Yeah, blew, literally. Blew. <laughs> <laughs> blew my mind. Uh, as far as like just quality innovation, just a good solid product you can really rely on, 23.0. Yeah, 23.0 makes incredible tents. Yep. Yeah. They've never let me down. No. 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 Except right, when good. you leave your window open and it rains inside. Yeah, that's a real thing. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah.
All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe, and we will see you guys next time. Peace.